The gentle giant, yeah. Mama's yeah. Brother. Yeah. 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 We have got the Patriots. While all the talk in New England has been about the Patriots possibly phasing out Wes Welker, the team brought in a couple of interesting pass catchers. Former Pat Deion Branch, the MVP of Super Bowl 39, and the talented yet controversial Kellen Winslow. So, Marcellus, bringing in Deion Branch and Kellen Winslow, good call or bad call? This is a good call. Ooh, you talk wow. about the, the injury to Aaron Hernandez. If I could have told you, you could expand your roster by two players, and those two players would happen to be Deion Branch and Kellen Winslow Jr., both productive at their positions last year. While you're waiting four to six weeks for Hernandez to come back healthy, I think that's a great move. So not only are you have a stopgap in the sense of two players that are ready to go and contribute immediately, two veterans, it's a smart, good call. Good call, bad call, call uh, I'm going to have to go a little opposite than my compadre right here. You got to explain and yourself. I'm going to just look at it from this standpoint, the Kellen Winslow. Like you said, you need a stopgap, but I don't know about this guy's character. We know every team he's been with, it has been some problems character-wise. You're talking about a young tight end group with the Patriots. I don't know if he will influence them the right way, the wrong way. You just don't know when you bring in the guy. He got cut the offseason. That's know, not fair. He he's a cut, talent. But how many teams has this been? He's been cut off a couple of different teams, and it's got to be a reason because he's a talented guy. All right. Got new Max. coach, new first-year head now, coach. Now, Max, I, settle I the debate. I will give the answer. As you know, my judgment is final. I don't know if you, you remember that. <laughs> Are we trying uh, to figure it, it out? It is a bad call. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Either one of you got it right. This is about <laughs> Wes Welker. That this wasn't is about an option. Wes Welker. Ah. They're trying to keep him down. Tom Brady is going to need targets. And this is a bad sign for the Patriots going forward. Bad judgment by you. Because Wes Walker is not the one that's injured. He's Marcellus. still on the roster. Marcellus. They did this because of Hernandez. Someone else at his position. Order. And then another I need a target. gavel. <laughs> we need a lot more time to talk about the Wes Walker thing. we got to move on, of course, to Timmy Tebow. Dolphins wide receiver Brian Hartline compared the attention given to Tim Tebow with that of the Kardashians, saying, quote, everybody loves him, but the same people go with the Kardashians. I don't know what they did early either. They're on every corner, everywhere. So, Marcellus, Heartline comparing Tebow to the Kardashians. Good call or bad call? Oh, uh, talk to me. No. That's a bad no. call. First of all, no. I, I think he's trying to make that association of no talent, but you're getting all this exposure with the Kardashians I'm and very Tim sure Tebow. That's what he right, thinks. right. But um, last time I checked, uh, Tim Tebow is a very talented quarterback because of his success as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Now, you can say that the Kardashians aren't talented. Maybe we need to redefine what talent is because they're widely successful. And Tim Tebow, when given opportunities, is the same as well. Lonely? Well, I'm going to go good call. And I'm, look Whoa. I'm looking at the comparisons. I'm looking at the comparisons. Every time I turn on ESPN, our station, our lovely station who I work for, mm. Tim Tebow, every segment. That's Tim right. Tim Tebow, Lomish, every day. Now we go to entertainment TV. Me and my wife watching entertainment TV. Okay. They're talking about the Kardashians. Uh, uh, let me ask you every a question. Every segment. This is a hold playoff on, this winning important. quarterback. This, this is way more important but, than any of this. Hold on, hold on. Uh -oh. Which is your favorite Kardashian? Oh, I like Kim. Oh, yeah, I like, I like Kim. Kim. You, you Come, got all soft. Question? Hey, I'm running this thing here. You just decided to go back off. It's your boy. It's your boy. They are here. both reality shows. Right. However, only one oh, has won a that's playoff that's game. That's that's right. 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 But the comparisons. I mean, every time we turn around, we're talking about Tebow, whether Tebow he does something good or bad. Yeah, I thought the offensive so line wait. was supposed to be smart. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We're talking about popcorn. 
culture. Yeah, no. I'm throwing them a little pop. No, culture, you act huh? like there's no premise to stand on. This guy is a successful quarterback because he's won in the NFL. You know how difficult it is to even become a starting quarterback, yeah, let alone you know what's coming next. Winning quarterback. Is coming. You know what's coming next? Haters oh. coming next. Can't say it to the tip of your tongue. Hater. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna move on. Robert Griffin says the Rams were taking cheap shots at him during the Redskins loss last Sunday. Oh. This is my guy. Knock it off, crowd. So, uh, Griffin says they were going after him because teams think that he can't take a hit. Marcellus, RG3 saying the Rams play dirty, good call, bad call. I wish I could say great, but this wow. is a good call. Wow. Think wow. about it. First of all, this alerts the referees this week and going forward to, hey, watch me in the pocket. And all of a sudden, that's going to create hesitation mm -hmm. and second thoughts on all the defenders who are going to pursue him. This is a great move by RG3 because he's still going to be able to play the position as he usually does, but now everyone's going to be focusing on should you go out there and hit him or should we throw the flag? Well, you know what? That will be a good point if everything Bad took place ball. out in the open. But believe me, I'm an under-the-pile expert. I've been under a bunch of piles, mm -hmm. and I know what go on under those piles. Oh, I wasn't there. You yeah. know why you were on those piles? Right. Because you, you were trying to block me. Exactly. Exactly. So you know a little pulling, a little shoving, a little that goes on. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things. To me, it's too early to complain. Too, too early for RG3 not to a, complain mm. about that. Why not complain to these referees that are substitutes? Because they're easy right. to influence. Not, now, all of a sudden, you're going to get all the calls. Wait about what the real guys get back. You want the answer back. now? Would you like the answer? We yes, the answer. Keller, a good fact, answer, There Mac. were plenty of cheap shots against RG3, usually occurring after the play when they would dribble his head off the turf like a basketball. However, he can't start complaining about it all. My man. man. It's not Mac, already too Mac, young. is there a difference between a complaint and bringing attention to something. That's what he's doing right here. Not, you're looking at not, it as a you're, negative. Not, you're not week two of your rookie season. That's you my can't point. start yet. You, you look not? like were a you? whiner then. Oh, look like a whiner. And we're talking about okay. replacement okay. officials. Look like a whiner, but getting the call to NBA, the guys who out there flop. They may look soft, but guess what? You get the flag, you get the whistle, and you I get the opportunity. I want to go back to what happens in the piles. A lot of things. Oh, so right. That was you. Uh, yeah, that you was did you. me like that. Are you the one? You, you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> look what happened.